What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and I'm here with my co host Setup Wars episode 37, say it. Setup Wars? Snowy! Say, say Setup Wars episode 20, 37. <laughs> say 30, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 37, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to submit your desk setup, make sure to watch the video linked down below. If the video is private, that means that I am not currently accepting any submissions because I am jam-packed. But without wasting any more time, let the setup wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always, everyone's gear for their setups will be linked down below in the description section, along with anything I recommend in this episode. So here are your five chosen contestants. We have Oli, Friedrich or Friedrich, Javier, Roca, and Laserhawk. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 37. So starting off the show is Oli's setup with what the f is that? So it appears we have an Emperor 1510 workstation holding up three ViewSonic 22 inch monitors. We also have a Logitech MK300 wireless keyboard and an ASUS ROG gaming mouse below. To the left of the keyboard, we have a few buttons which appear to control the LEDs and the seat. I'm honestly speechless. This is insane. I mean, this thing has LEDs up top, a cup holder, footrest, and even freaking Bose speakers on both sides. I actually looked up the price on this thing and it costs around 5 grand. Now let me remind you that's only the base model. You can customize your very own workstation, so I decided to have some fun and customize my very own, which came up to a little over 13 grand. Talk about a dream setup, Jesus Christ. But anyways, going back to reality, Ollie definitely has an insane bedroom. Right next to his godlike device, we have the PC that's powering this entire setup an i7-3770 paired with a Radeon 7950. I seriously want to give this setup a seal of approval, but the cables, man, so close. So close. If the cable management was a little better, I would have easily given the seal. I mean, I haven't seen anything quite like this and it's not easy to replicate. I mean, who has five grand laying around for a setup? Nonetheless, this is definitely one of the coolest setups I've seen in my life. And I thank you very much, Ali, for entering Setup Wars. So apparently this next name is called Frederick and I butchered the crap out of it. You guys know me, like I'm bad at pronouncing names, so just... Just make fun of me and move on. Frederick is next up with a pretty sweet room setup. We have a set of IKEA Lindman desks, the left one which is focused mainly for schoolwork it seems like with some book stands and a desk pad. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Moving on to the right side is the actual PC setup. We have two LG 25 inch monitors and a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Also on the desk we have a pair of Bose Companion 20 speakers and an Xbox One right in between the displays. Excellent work with cable management, the Signum rack really does a great job hiding the cables and the LED strips tops off the setup. Nothing I would really recommend, it seems like you got everything under control. Thank you Frederick for entering setup wars and I'm sorry for butchering your name. At number 3 we have Javier with a single 27 inch iMac 5K display. We also have an Apple wireless keyboard and trackpad along with a Logitech performance mouse. I also like the headphone hangers you have attached on the wall, even though they aren't aligned perfectly. Really digging that wall shelf as well that you have all the freaking way up there with some LEDs shining on the products. And lastly, this cool little modification on the back of the iMac. It seems like Javier installed a fan on the wall to help keep the iMac nice and cool. Plus one on that modification, very clever. Cables aren't visible so I can't talk smack, but what I can recommend are some things to clean up your desk a bit. iMac owners are blessed by the many accessories that companies keep making for them. For instance, I see that there are a bunch of miscellaneous things on your desk that will look a lot better hidden. So there's a few options you can go with Javier, but I would recommend any of these to clean up your desk a bit. First up, we have a monitorizer that has room for your wireless keyboard that also comes with four USB ports for charging and syncing your devices. We also have the popular high-rise to lift up your iMac a bit, which also comes with a hidden storage that you can use to keep some of your stuff in. And lastly, a simple storage shelf that you can add to the front or back of the iMac. Either way, I'll leave a link to all three down below so you can check it out. But yeah, for the most part, that's a very clean productivity setup. Thank you, Javier, for entering. 
Next up we have Laserhawk with a single 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor mounted against the wall right next to the headphone hanger that's also holding up the SteelSeries Siberia V3 gaming headset. On the desk we have a gigantic ass mouse pad and underneath that we have the Logitech K810 keyboard and a Corsair M65 RGB mouse. Also on the desk we have the Xbox One Play and Charge Kit controller and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S right below that. Really great work with cable management, everything is hooked up against the roof of the desk and zip tied to one of the legs. So the PC that's powering this setup is a very sexy black and red build running on a 4770K paired with two EVGA GTX 780 Ti's classified editions along with 32GB of Vengeance Pro RAM. The cable management game is also strong on both the PC and the actual setup so plus one there. The only two things that really mess with my OCD are the extremely large mouse pad and the pair of earphones just lying around. You can actually use cable drops and hook them up to the right side of your desk that way it's not only closer to you but will remain hidden from sight. At least that's what I would do but then again who really cares what I have to say. <laughs> Nonetheless really cool setup Thank you for entering. The last setup of the day belongs to Roka with a very clean black and white theme. We have a 27 inch BenQ monitor on the left and a 27 inch Dell monitor on the right with a Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and M65 RGB mouse on top of the Corsair extended mouse pad. The desk of course is none other than the IKEA Linman desk and to the right side of that is the Alex drawer which is holding up his Hackintosh build. Cable management can definitely be improved with some velcro straps and wraps but other than that and the really cool acoustic foams against the wall, this is a very clean black and white setup. Thank you Roka for entering. I still have the cable management video coming up you guys, I, I haven't forgotten about that. It's going to be happening sometime in February so stick around for that. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars, you guys know what to do, drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. As always voting will end this Saturday and I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So follow me there if you want to know who wins. Um, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like if you enjoy setup boards. And I'll see you in the next video.